have this infrastructure work with us. It's quite clear that conflict will lead to hunger, and no one can question that. Uh, first of all, by displacing people, and displaced people are far more vulnerable than people who live at home. Når noen er fattige, og når noen mangler mat, så er det fordi andre vil at det skal være sånn. Altså, fattigdom og mangel på mat skyldes undertrykking, skyldes korrupsjon, vannstyre, en liten politisk elite. Vi ser at det er mange av de som er fattige hunger, og det er en stor del av de som er fattige hunger i verden, og det er en stor del av de som er fattige. Hvorfor er det noen NGO-er som vil ha en del av Afrika? Som du vil ha, researchers som du vil ha, work as you want without taking serious concern of Africa, culture, history. Okay, um, it's quite clear that um, in dealing with the problem that the world has right now for uh, solving the issue of hunger, about 815 million people currently living in hunger, that uh, more people need to get involved in this activity. Um, for instance, uh, we know that food production is largely within uh, small smallholder farmers so these need a lot of support they need uh, support not just uh, aid support they need support from people who really want have their good intentions at heart and this calls upon individuals faithfuls uh, to who are willing to uh, invest their time and their resources uh, to overcome this burden because it is accepted that they will have the, the good intentions of the people they're helping at heart. For example, if they are to be engaged in business, yes, business would be for profit, but if you do not have the good intentions of the people you're working with or working amongst, uh, or working for, for example, who will be your clients or the people who will be supplying you, maybe like from uh, 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 those who are uh, supplying a big uh, organization, it would be important that whoever is leading such an initiative has the good intentions of the people at heart. And uh, that's my thought that more and more, for example, Catholics can get involved in uh, not just talking about it or thinking about it or writing about it, but being ready to move into these areas that sometimes are perceived as high-risk areas so that they can provide this support uh, to help uh, people uh, run their small businesses or their farms with a good model of profitability so they can remain in the business and they don't have to always seek outside help. This will create a critical mass of people who are ready to work together to solve the issue of food insecurity. Thank you. Hvis alle er med på lag, så klarer man å gjøre dette. Hvis du tenker på, bare i Norge alene, så tror jeg vi kaster oss 20 mat tilsvarende verdi for 20 milliarder kroner hvert eneste år. Også det er vi, vi har, vi bor i et overflodssamfunn. Myanmar har aldri mottatt bidateral bistand. Det har mottatt folket i Myanmar, har mottatt humanitær bistand. Land og regime og regjering har ikke mottatt bistand. Tunis er et land som gjennom dette har vært en veldig flott dag. Vi har hatt tre sesjoner hvor vi har fått høre om hvordan verdens matvarefond jobber. Behovene i verden er 815 millioner mennesker som sulter. Det er krise i flere områder hvor folk risikerer å dø av sult. Og vi har fått vite om løsningene. Næringslivet i Norge gjør allerede mange spennende ting for å utrydde sult. Og det er fantastisk å se at politikerne også er med på den reisen. Sammen skal vi klare det.